Well, today's February 20th, 2016. I just interviewed our friend from Australia. But Dr. Sen has something, a new finding on teeth that he found, of all people, on my wife. Um, as you were aware, last week I talked about the phenomenal result that Robert Rowan, Dr. Rowan, had with his periodontal condition. Something I didn't expect, and I was put back by it. I had no words for it. I said, am I seeing this as a correct or not? And I said, I, if this is really the case, we need to study this. I didn't want to jump ahead. It's worth a posting for one patient, but I need more patients. I want to see what's, this is, what's going on with this. Well, lo and behold, Dr. Terry Sue came in, and she's also had numerous ozone procedures done on her. Now, she had an unfortunate accident with orthodontics that had caused numerous loss of numerous teeth. And there's a tooth, and you, it doesn't know that you don't have the number right here in the lower left quadrant, right below it, right behind the eye tooth. She had a very, very loose bicuspid. And I had taken that bicuspid and glued it to the tooth next to it just to stabilize it. And everybody says, she's going to lose it. She's going to lose it. It's bleeding. It has a pocket. There's pus in it. And I said, Dr. Sue, let's just keep it as long as we can because you chew with it. Because we got a whole bunch of work ahead of us and she just wasn't ready to proceed with it. She came in this week on Wednesday. And I looked at that tooth, not only that tooth, but her gums. And I said, oh my goodness, Dr. Sue, do you know that that tooth no longer is mobile? It had a, what's called a plus three mobility. It moved about three millimeters on the top back and forth. If anything, it had a half a millimeter mobility. It was hard in the bone and there was no bleeding from the pocket. In other words, something had gone on from underneath that tooth within the alveolar ridge or the alveolar bone to make that tooth more stable. That's the only way I can describe it because she changed nothing else that she told me in her diet regime and her brushing regime or anything. And I'm just taken aback by it. I said, we, I want to look at it again. I'm going to post today, I think. I'm almost ready. But I'm going to look at it again. Now, I looked at the other side of her mouth, which was the lower right side, where we're doing some interesting work with a different doctor in Alameda, California, who's very forward thinking. And, but it's, in this point, it's, it's had a lot of food impact in there just because of the, the provisionalization. And there's always been a little bit of puffiness, a little bit of bleeding because you can't help when you're eating. There was no puffiness. There was no bleeding. There was no inflammation. That's the first time I've ever seen her. I've known her for 10 years that I've seen that. Both and of us now. Both of you. Both of yeah, you. Yeah, you also said that her biofilm changed too. Well, bio, both of your biofilms changed. I mean, it was it's this gooey stuff that people live with and it's around them. I see people and some people have more of a biofilm or less of a biofilm. I try to control it in their mouth temporarily with their brushing and flossing. This seems to be... an total body biofilm change because it's different and I don't know what to say I said it's, it's different I want more people to come Robert and I are thinking of working on a, 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 a case study here we're going to do patients and look at them and see what differences there are we're going to see them before during and after treatment and we're going to document this change in the periodontal condition and the biofilm condition and the and the gum condition however it's bigger it's much bigger. It's much, much bigger. The mouth, especially the gums and the teeth, are a window, especially the gums, on the rest of the biofilm in the body. And if that's cleaning up, it's cleaning it up all over. It's cleaning up in the lungs. It's cleaning up in the heart. It's cleaning up in the sinus. It's cleaning up along the vessels. It's cleaning up the interstitial spaces. It's just cleaning it up. And that's a big problem for all of us. And if it's cleaning it up and changing it, I mean, this is a whole new part of science that no one's ever done before. So we got, two, we got two out we got of two. We got two. Two out of two. Isn't that, that's, and this was something totally unexpected. I didn't I didn't expect it with her because, you know, she's good, but she's got all, because of her orthodontics, there's all this host of problems she has and they weren't there this time. They weren't there. And like I said, I waited a week because I had to digest this stuff. I didn't quite think, is this a possibility? Every time I review it, it's yes. In fact, I want you guys to come back in so I could re-review it, just to make okay. sure. But, but I'm going to post what I saw, and with the, with the caveat that I get to re-review this. You know. Anyway, thank you for listening to you to me, and I appreciate your time, and I'm looking forward to a big change in our medicine with this. A big, big change. Thank you very much. Thanks. Let's hope we can get the patients to, uh, we'll do it. to check we'll do this it. out. I may post this? Oh, by all means. Please, right. please.